What's up guys, Dev here, doing some more TikTok Tuesdays. I just got back from visiting my family for Christmas. Yeah, I know Christmas is next week, but I did it early, so I got some things going on. And in fact, actually, I tried to record this on a laptop, you know, back in my hometown, sitting in the old rec room, trying to do it with people around me. It just, it just wasn't working. So I'm back now. I got back to, uh, to my place this morning, and I'm doing this now to come out in the evening, hopefully. So let's watch some TikToks. Okay, here we have a master criminal at work. Oh, it's voiceover, this one. Guy says, bet, you can have it. It's a company car. Hops <laughs> in there, makes his getaway. Just walks Only away. one problem. He can't drive his stick. <laughs> 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 what are you going to do now, bro? <laughs> your buddy done left you. You're on your own now. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, let's read that for a second. Oh, man, someone's reacted to my TikToks. They're sending to me. You guys are sending them to be pre-reacted to. Damn. Anyway, that is pretty funny, though. He's he's just stuck there with a car that he can't drive. Good job. I care about the planet, but guess what? This fucking pisses me off because oh. this is a paper straw. Now, this yeah. paper straw Hate those two, is going to fall apart and make your drink suck halfway through it. Yep. And it's going to start getting disgusting, right? Yep. But the thing that makes me mad about it is it came in a plastic cup with a plastic cover. This yeah, ratio dude. must be 20 to 1. How about you give me a plastic straw and a paper fucking cup? Then we can help the planet and yeah, I can dude. enjoy my fucking drink. Yeah, why not? Why not? Listen, that's completely true, right? Ever since the paper straws have come in, they've been... They've been terrible. Oh, man, fuck paper, uh, the paper straws, man. You go to, like, uh, a McDonald's or any of these fast food places, they got paper, or at least they had paper cups. What the hell? Why not just use those? They're, like, paper but wax covered, you know? Like, use those for your drinks. Isn't, isn't that better? Man, I think what's going on, though, is, like, you see those pictures of turtles that have plastic straws in their noses or whatever. They, they want to avoid that because the shape of the plastic straw is specifically uh, harmful to wildlife. But nonetheless, man, I hate I hate paper straws. God, they're so god-awful, man. Whoa! Oh my, hold on, hold on, there's music. Oh my god. Okay, I can't, I can't do the music thing, but Jesus, what the fuck? I gotta, I gotta just play that again. What are we looking at here, dude? That's gotta be a couple pounds of metal in her face. How is she getting through any sort of metal detector? Okay, hold on, I'm playing it once more. Look, imagine getting your dick sucked, fellas. There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way. Who, who like, uh, yeah, you know, I get it. Like, a little nose ring, a little lip ring. It can look kind of nice sometimes, depending. Who the fuck thinks this is good? Like, this is way too fucking far, dude. Smack ass every chance I get. That's all I got. <laughs> what? Is that all you have for your wedding? What, really? I didn't write nothing down. That's what you're going out with? That's what I'm going right, with. Cool. We've made it this long. Oh my god. Listen. Listen, ladies. Would you marry a guy where that was the vows? I promised to smack that? Like, that's it? Oh my god. Oh, I, I'm dying of cringe already. Jesus. You know I look f***ed up right now? It's because I've been sobbing. Okay. I was just talking with customer What's support. What's going on, dude? My bank. I was calling about some bank stuff. The lady, like, was super nice. Yeah. So she called me Mr. Carter, which is... I mean, like, my voice is deep. I get it. I was like, yeah. oh, actually, it's Miss Carter. And she's like, oh, sorry. Huh. And then she just proceeded to call me Carter. <laughs> But she kept saying, sir, and it is accidental, and she didn't correct herself. <laughs> but at some point during the call, I just started sobbing, because, like, you know, the, the dysphoria has been a lot lately. I feel so bad, because she, she heard me sobbing, and she's like, I'm so sorry. I know how it feels, sir. I mean, ma'am. God. Oh, <laughs> that's brutal. I don't blame her at all. When, I, when, this, when that clip first started, I thought they were going to be like, fuck this woman. She's transphobic. She doesn't get it. She's being a bigot. No, you know, surprisingly didn't do that, all right? This is someone who just seems to be suffering because they don't pass, and uh, the, the person on the line was empathetic but you know that's, that's just how it was and i mean that's a that's a bad deal regardless of how you feel about the the political side of trans stuff it's not hard to to point out when someone's just manufacturing outrage and when someone's actually suffering I've just taught my daughters the first lesson about white men this is going to be some racist shit this isn't it a little white boy bro here we go my daughters are happily playing on this park equipment and here comes this little alabaster crotch fruit he yep. can walk over Racist to them, as fuck. shimmy his way in, and then look at my five-year-old and say, push me. Uh, 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 uh. My ass running across the park like somebody's about to take my child. What the I fuck? I look my five-year-old dead in her eyes. 
I said, you start pushing that little boy right now. And it was one of them instances where I raised my voice because I'm hoping the mama hear me. Yeah. I said, that little alabaster crotch group is rude. You do not let anybody treat you that way. Definitely not that little boy. Damn. So then as he was on the park equipment, I just sat there and I just looked at him. So this is a message a, to the alabaster women who are weirdo. raising alabaster crotch fruit boys. Fucking weirdo, if dude. you don't get your son, you best believe I'm going to teach my daughter how to get him. This person has way too much fucking time on their hands. Holy shit. See, now this was a case of someone trying to manufacture outrage. I do not believe this person when they describe this event as it went down. And honestly, I think they're bringing their kids to the park so that something can happen and they can go viral on TikTok. All right. This person is just out here trying to cause trouble. Whoa, what the fuck? How many Brazilian butt lifts is that, lady? Okay. <laughs> Listen, I know that big asses are in right now, but that's that was fucking grotesque. What the fuck? <laughs> Okay, dude. Oh my god! Speaking of grotesque! Is this gonna be in the rap video? Because I feel like those, uh, the tires on that car are gonna pop soon. Mm -hmm. Listen, listen. As a fellow fatty, don't do this shit. You're not good looking. Don't do this shit, okay? Oh my god. Uh, I can't believe this is the first thing I'm doing when I come home, guys, is, is watching TikToks for you. I mean, I, I was sleeping in, like, the stiffest bed. I got no sleep. My back is fucked. God, I hate I hate going back to my hometown. Oh, fuck. All right, what else do we got? I'm not doing 9 to 5. I, know I can't do 9 to 5, spoiled. okay. I know this is going to sound like some artsy creative who, you know, just doesn't want to put in the hard work in hours. Yeah. But I physically do not think I can do it. Okay. I'll start to cry if I have more than like three non-creative tasks to do in a day. And imagining doing eight hours a day of something that I don't really love for the rest of my life. Yeah. So there's no other option. Yeah, get it good. Has to work. Yeah, get good. It's gonna sound even Take more off. Take off. Arrogant. Take off or suffer. In a show Absolutely. Say, People like us can't live normal lives. If we try, it kills us. And honestly. I am throwing myself into that category. Yeah. Because I think I will simply die. So if you want to listen to die. my music and help be, you know, one step in the process of me not literally dying, mm -hmm. please stream it. I love you guys. <laughs> I don't know who this person is or her music, but here's the thing. When I saw this go viral online, I I'm pretty sure everyone took it as like this, you know, sheltered, cushioned hipster art ho girl who just can't make it in a real job and you know fair enough right there, there's a whole bunch of those out there but everything that she said in there was completely true there are some people out there who just can't do the nine to five working for someone else all right i'm one of them i've done nine to five jobs i've done like white collar jobs blue collar jobs it's like it's killed me to do some of these things it has deadened me inside so what she's saying is actually completely completely true but you know what the solution then is? The solution is to work hard at the thing that you actually want and make it take off. All right. You have to be the absolute best that you can be at whatever your craft is. And you cannot give up and you can't be like, oh, I should just have a career handed to me. No, you shouldn't. Actually, if you are going to have the luxury of being someone who can live off of their art and it is a luxury, you must work at it way more than a nine to five. You aren't owed a creative career. You have to you have to grab that. You have to wrestle that. You have to you know extract that from the universe and make it your own. Yeah, like, like I, I get the presentation is like hipster art ho who can't work. But there's truth in this for sure. I'm a little what? Girl, small and cute. What? He's on the pigtails, yes, they're real. I get a steam that I can pout. Oh my god. The over part sounds kind of inappropriate, though. So I'm going to stop the song there and keep it kid friendly for all my young followers out there. Th this is stay kid proud, friendly? Stay beautiful and stay kind. Okay. Was that real or was that a troll? Is this an actual person who thinks that they are a trans girl and they're little and cute? Or is this someone who is, like, specifically making a video like this to troll? And I... I don't know, dude. <laughs> I don't know. The world is a weird fucking place nowadays, dude. I don't know. Imagine going on a date. <laughs> oh my god. Gotta get that perfect Instagram video. For your food, oh, you know, I, I know that, like, I'm an influencer, I know, I know that's what I am, but 
I could never be someone like this. Oh my God. Influencers, people who actually behave like influencers. They are just some of the worst, most self-absorbed fucking people in the world. I couldn't do it. I, I couldn't do it, dude. I know like I'm out here making videos. You guys watch them. I'm technically an influencer, but like I'm, if I count as one, I am ashamed to be one. Okay. And that brings us to the end of TikTok Tuesday for today. I hope you enjoyed. I know I missed a few working on the Skullgirls video, but hey, we're back. We're back in form. Oh, and I announced this on the weekly sip, but I'll announce it real quick here. Um, I'm going away for Christmas yet again. Sorry, but that's just, yeah, that's the season, you know? So I, I just came back from a Christmas travel and I'm going to go away again for another family Christmas travel. And I'll pretty much be gone the final week of December. I'll try to, I'll try to make some videos ahead of time so that they can at least come out like while I'm gone. But, uh, I will, I will not be present. So I hope you all have a Merry Christmas or whatever other holiday you celebrate. And I will see you next time. Have a good one. I love you.